It's a common misconception that beer curates cannot be amended and that they are cast in stone. However, this is not true. In accordance with subclause 12.3 B3 for FIDIC 2017 and subclause 12.3 A3 for FIDIC 1999, under specific circumstances, a beer curate can be amended. Let's examine these subclauses in a bit more detail. As far as subclause 12.3 is concerned, the contractual rationale associated with both FIDIC 2017 and FIDIC 1999 is essentially the same. The measured works are valued in accordance with the rates and prices detailed in the contract or similar rates and prices specified in the contract. However, a new rate or price will be applicable if four conditions are satisfied. First, if the remeasured quantity of any item is changed by more than 10% when compared to the BOQ. Second, if this change in quantity multiplied by a specified rate for this item exceeds 0.01% of the accepted contract amount. Third, this change arising from remeasurement changes the unit cost per quantity of this item by more than 1%. And finally, if this item is not specified as being a fixed rate item. Let's assume that conditions 1, 3 and 4 are fulfilled. In this master workshop, we'll be focusing on item 3. An important point to remember as far as FIDIC 2017 is concerned is that if an applicable percentage is not specified in the contract data, a default percentage equal to 5% will be applied. If you want to apply an alternative percentage of profit, please ensure that this alternative is specified in the contract documents. Now let's review the elements associated with FIDIX unit cost calculation. First, we have QM, which is equal to the remeasured quantity. Second, we have QB, which is equal to the quantity in the BOQ. CQM is the cost associated with the remeasured works. And finally, we have CQB, which pertains to the cost the contractor would have actually incurred if QM was equal to QB. Don't worry if you're confused. Once we do the workshops, everything will become crystal clear. Unit Cost Analysis Before we move on to the workshops, it is extremely important that you understand the concept of unit cost analysis. So what is unit cost analysis? A unit cost in construction may be described as the cost incurred per unit of work output. Example, cost of painting per square meter, cost of concrete per cubic meter, etc. Unit cost is equal to total cost divided by productivity. Productivity is your output while doing work. For example, per day, per hour, etc. Productivity may also be expressed as a formula. It is equal to total output divided by duration. Now let's consider an example. The activity we're going to consider is installation of columns. The first scenario is a unit cost analysis based on a per day productivity. Let's assume that we need five days to install 10 columns. So your productivity is equal to 10 columns divided by five days, giving us two columns per day. If your total cost per day is equal to a thousand euros, your unit cost is equal to total cost divided by productivity, which is equal to 1000 euros divided by two columns, giving you 500 euros per column. Now this is based on a per day productivity. Let's carry out a separate unit cost analysis based on total productivity. Once again, we have 10 columns to install in five days. Total productivity in five days is equal to 10 columns. If your total cost for 5 days is equal to 5000 euros, your unit cost is equal to total cost divided by productivity, which is equal to 5000 euros divided by 10 columns, giving us 500 euros per column. The answer is exactly the same. We will apply these principles 
while carrying out our unit rate analysis. And with that, we come to the end of this video tutorial.